Jeffrey was born in 1939 in Shanghai, in China, where his parents were missionaries for the China Inland Mission. Following the Japanese invasion of China in World War II, he was interred in a Japanese prison of war camp with his parents and two brothers, Alan and Winston. He stayed there from the ages of three until seven. His family were repatriated to England during the harsh winter of 1946, and having no money and nowhere to live, stayed with relatives for a short while, before being provided with temporary accommodation in the form of a converted railway carriage at Elmer Sands on the south coast, which, whilst fine in the summer months, were not ideal during that bitter winter. After some time searching for work, Jeffrey's father became the pastor of the Baptist Church in Walton-on-Thames in 1948, and the family moved into the manse. Sadly, only three years later, he died from a heart attack, aged 53, when he was cycling the church youth group. Jeffrey was just 11 years old. The family were required to evacuate the manse quickly and moved into one of Uncle Charles's funeral director's shops in Bermondsey, supported only by Jeffrey's older brother, Alan's meagre RBF salary. Jeffrey was educated at Bromley Grammar School. At the age of 17, his A-level studies were interrupted by an operation on his foot, which didn't go to plan and left him in hospital for nine months. He still managed to take his A-levels and moved on to study fine art at St Martin's School of Art in London. He went on to do a PTC at London University before teaching for a few years at a large comprehensive school in London. Geoffrey met Sylvia at Ryan Lane Baptist Church, Peckham, in 1969. <coughs> and they married at Western Hill Baptist Church in Kent. In 1967, sorry, in 1967, David was born in 1969, followed by Michael in 1971, and Abigail in 1982. In 1967, Geoffrey took up the post of lecturer of art at Wyvern's College in Roehampton, completing his doctorate of philosophy in 1983 and progressing to become head of the Fine Art Department at Roehampton Institute, part of the University of Surrey. <clears throat> After many happy holidays on the Norfolk Broads, the family decided to make a permanent move to Hickling in Norfolk in 1987 where they enjoyed sailing and windsurfing on Hickling Broad. For 10 years, Geoffrey continued to commute during the week to the Roehampton Institute. But at the weekends and in holidays, Geoffrey spent his time painting, gardening, and walking the dogs on the beach. Geoffrey's strong Christian faith remained steadfast throughout his life, and he played an active role in every church that he attended. He preached in open air services on the steps of Bry Lane Baptist Chapel, Peckham, to parcel shoppers, whether they liked it or not. <laughs> While worshipping at Bromley Baptist Church, he led a crusader youth group at his home. At Christ Church in Orpington, he led the design and creation of some amazing banners, which still form a significant part of the worship space. And in Norfolk, he was a member of St Mary's Sun PCC and the Diocesan Synod and he also played an active role in the church music group. Geoffrey took early retirement in 1997, but was no less busy. He was a governor at the local secondary school, where he also taught one day a week, and he became chair of a lo local club for the blind, organising meetings and outings, and driving the minibus for the members. He and Sylvia also welcomed the first of their grandchildren, Daniel, in the year 2000. Then, 
Geoffrey had a major stroke in January 2005. His condition in hospital was critical for some time. But later that year, he was transferred to a neurological rehabilitation centre where, through his tenacity and perseverance, he learnt to walk again. After 22 years in Norfolk, Geoffrey and Sylvia moved to York in 2009 to be closer to family. They attended worship here in Ingham, where Geoffrey enjoys singing heartily to the hymns. He also took great pleasure in welcoming their other grandchildren, Lydia, Josh, Isaac, Gabriella and Tabitha, and seeing them grow and develop. In the following years, another stroke set Geoffrey back again, and subsequent TIAs resulted in further deterioration of his abilities. Geoffrey spent the last two years in a care home, which thankfully allowed the family to visit, whether through the window or outside, throughout the COVID pandemic. Through it all, Geoffrey's indomitable spirit Courage, humour and determination shone through. It was still shining through in the care home, where the staff spoke of his positivity, faith and hope, and how he wasn't afraid of dying. <laughs>